All right, thank you very much. All right, I was wandering around out there, and somebody asked me if I was going to do this song called Up and What Gets the Wall Redneck Mother tonight, and I said, no, I'm not trying to bleed you for applause. Trust me. You'll know when I'm bleeding you for applause is when I quit, and I walk off, and y'all applaud, and I kind of walk up here and turn around and walk off. That would be bleeding you for applause. And I'll just tell you what happened. They said, we hear you don't do Redneck Mother every night. And I said, no, nah, I don't do it every night. And they said, we'd really like to hear you do it. And I said, well, I never know what I'm going to do up there. And they said, we, we came a long way to hear you do that. You're going to be so disappointed if you don't do that song. And I remember one time I went to see Dylan. And I really wanted to hear him do Masters of War. And he didn't do it. So I kind of left with this empty, sad feeling inside. So for you people that have that void in your life, only having me sing up against the wall, redneck mother can feel. It really, it really may not say a lot for either one of us. <laughs> let me explain it. Let me, let me take a moment here to explain it. <laughs> A long time ago, in a land far away called West Texas and Northeast New Mexico, if you was a young, long-haired, cosmic cowboy, a hippie musician, it was very dangerous times. This was before Willie Nelson sang at the Armadillo World Headquarters in Austin, Texas, bringing the hippies and the rednecks together. Creating the hip next. Term never took off. I used to live on Red River, New Mexico, where during the summer all these ne'er-do-well Austin musicians would come up. We'd get together each night after our day job and we would have these hoot to nannies. It's a bad taste in your mouth now. But what now is that is hoot to nanny. It's my turn to go get the beer. And Red River, New Mexico is only two bars. You open the door where the hoot nanny was, and right across the street was the hardcore Sears Cowboy Hillbilly Redneck Country Bar. In fact, that's the name of it. <laughs> you just knew if you were a little hippie musician, you didn't go in there. I said, well, how bad could it really be? So I walked in there, and I found out there was about 40 of these old boys and one woman, and they was rough looking. They was rough. The woman was rough looking. Kind of a kind of a mountain woman, you know, kind of a burly mountain, rough looking woman. Just, you know the type of woman left up arm and whip will fly out. Burly woman. But anyhow, like I say, a fight broke out, but I didn't hold up my end of the bargain. Four of these old boys and a woman jumped me and beat me up for about twenty minutes. So I go back to Hoot and Annie and I walk in the door. And I said, I think I got my nose broken. A fellow by the name of B.W. Stevenson said, well, did you get the beer? And I said, no. And he said, well, go back and get it. I said, you go back and get it. He said, oh, you go back. So he said, well, I made up this song. His barn in Oklahoma. His wife's name's Betty Jo Delmondes. He's not responsible for what he's doing. His mother, oh, she made him what he is. And it's up against the wall, redneck mother. Sing along, we live, you wasted you. Mother who has raised the son so well. He's 34, drinking in a honky tonk. Just a kicking hippies asses and a raising hell. Well, you know, he sure likes to drink Lone Star and Pearl and Shiner Bach beer. He likes beer. He likes Texas. He likes Texas beer. He traded in his GMC pickup truck and he got him a Ford. He gave it to his son who took it to college and put a little plastic statue of Robert Earl Keane on the dashboard. He's a saint. And it's up against the wall, redneck mud. Long, you know you want to. I said, Mother has raised the sun so well. It's 34 and drinking in a honky tonk. Just a kicking 
hippie asses in a raisin hill. We well, you know him. Him is actually for the mileage I've got out of this song, to tell you the truth, man. This song should have been dead and buried 20, 25 years ago. Probably never even written, let alone remembered, let alone recorded, let alone recorded again by Cracker. It's only got three chords in it. It is politically incorrect, but the way that I look at it is, is careers have been built on less. I mean, I don't wonder what Vanilla Ice is doing tonight. I got a gig. A lot of days people will come up and actually ask me about songwriting. They'll say, Ray, what's the most important thing about songwriting? And I have to say, the most important thing about songwriting is right after you write a song, ask yourself, can I sing this for 34 years? I mean, like I say, I'm kind of embarrassed about it, except twice a year. Always for okay, that's enough of this. This song was actually recorded in a place called Lukenbach, Texas, a long time ago by a guy named Jerry Jeff Walker, an album called Beaver Tlingle. And what happened was, is up in Red River, this who made up this song. There was a guy named Bob Livingston. He left there, that came to went down to Austin. He started playing bass in the Los Gonzo band with Jerry Jeff Walker. Well, one night they was at the Broken Smoke Saloon in Austin, Texas. And they were up on stage and Jerry broke a string. They didn't have roadies back in those days. I mean, Jerry had some guy help the dope, but he didn't know how to change the string. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. So, we, so, we, so Jerry said, well, Bob, while I change the string, why don't you sing this song? Why don't you sing a song? So Bob sing this song. The rest is history. T is for Texas, H is for here we are, E is for X, and R, R is for redneck, and it's up against the wall, redneck mother, sing along, you know you want to, I said mother who has raised the sun so well. You're on your own. Well, it's up against the wall, redneck mothers. Tempo. That was the best it's ever. All right. Oh man, I think my watch stopped. Uh, all right, I got some CDs and T-shirts for sale right back there, and I was really, really hoping to sell some tonight. But to tell you the truth, after that. Take the money you were going to spend on one of my t-shirts and buy you a pitch pipe and a metronome. Maybe a self-help book. <laughs> and next time, my player will nail it.